I really do. I, I was impressed. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of you know beginner, intermediate shooting competitions and stuff, but you did very well. One of the things I, I want to bring up or talk about real quick, though, is they give you two minutes to shoot three arrows. That's a crazy long time. At the at the pro ranks, they give you two minutes to shoot three arrows. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of time. Why do you think that is? Do we need? I mean, if, we need, if we're going to fire off three arrows, do we need two minutes? We need to reset. You need time to reset. Exactly. Okay, so there's, so this archery thing, we only shot 30 arrows today, which is a, is a light day in most regards at tournaments, okay? So you've got to think of archery as kind of an endurance sport. And even if it's only a 30 arrow tournament, it's still an endurance sport. So you, what you need to do is, you, you know, drink a little bit of water eat a little bit of food between ends or whatever, but during those two minutes, okay, your your brain, while it's doing its focusing, while it's controlling your body and stuff, is crushing oxygen and crushing calories, it's, believe it or not. Archers at a big tournament can burn up to 3,000 calories during the six hours they're on the line. No bullshit. We learn this crazy stuff at the Olympic Training Center where they have nothing better to do than to study athletes and their different things, honest to God. Okay, but the other kind of weird thing is your mind really can only focus or go subconscious is where you want it to go during your shot for about three seconds before something else comes into your brain. Okay, so when I'm setting on focusing on that target down range and I've got my mind, a little spider in the middle of the target burning a hole in my mind's eye, okay, I've got three seconds before I start thinking about other dumb stuff like the backhoe that's stuck in my backyard right now, or sex, or, you know, what are we having for lunch? I mean, there's, for real, we all think about other things that are going on in our life. So during that two minutes, we come off the line, in, in our mind, we stay on the line, but come off it, go away, look at the blue sky, like, damn, there's not a cloud out there, and it is all blue. Or, you know, praise the Lord, look how green everything is compared to that blue. Something else, something that's not archery related, and then maybe come in, Count your arrows. So we're bringing our external focus in a little bit. And then it's like, okay, now I'm gonna look down range. Okay, I'm gonna shoot that lower right hand spot. So I'm bringing my focus in a little bit more. Now I'm gonna knock my arrow. I'm gonna hook, I'm gonna grip. Make sure my stance is set, all right? Make sure my hand, my elbow, my shoulder are set. And I'm gonna bring up and I'm gonna do my little zen exhale as I draw my bow. I'll breathe one more time, and then that's when I focus on where that arrow is going to hit. I'm not focused on my, my peep, I'm not focused on my sight, I'm focused on where that arrow is going to hit. All that stuff has already happened. My brain is subconsciously working on that. So now, in those three seconds that I've got where my, my brain is allowed to relax and focus on that little spider down there, that's when I take my shot. 
And as soon as that shot's over and my follow through's complete and the arrow's hit, I'll just do a quick evaluation. All right, that was a little low or it was higher. That's what I wanted to do. That was awesome. That was great. Oh, that one needed a little bit of work. Okay, and then where do I go? I go back out. I go look at the sky again. I go, man, that sun really is killing me, being right in my face. Whatever it is. And then I start bringing it back in again. And I try to use 30 seconds for, per shot. Good to go. The reason why I do 30 seconds is the idea is I want to be able to get four shots off in case I have to let down. If something distracts me, if the guy next to me, his bow explodes, or if something, you know, for real. I mean, something happens around me that totally distracts me, I'm going to let down and I'm going to reset again. So if I get, give myself the time to shoot a fourth arrow, I'm, I'm set. I'm, I'm, I'm good. All right? Now I talked to you a little bit yesterday about something that you say, a little mantra. So when you're coming up and you're trying to get that focus to bring in a little bit more and there's a baby crying or the gunny's chewing somebody out for driving the van through the mud or whatever dumb shit is going on behind you, you say your little mantra, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, go, 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 invincible, all day, whatever it is, whatever's personal to you, that's your, your mental trigger to bring you down into that thing and boom. Now the, the last thing I'll leave you with, a bad shot and a good shot are, are just as distracting, okay? I shoot a really bad shot and I'm like, ah, damn, I really, son of a gun, okay, I can't change it, all right? But I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to have that crazy shot affect my next one, so then I'll have two bad shots, all right? So I need to go out on the way, all right? Now I shoot an X and I'm like, yeah, I'm on it. All right, that X can distract me just as much as the missed shot. Because now I'm thinking back to, oh, I was shooting an X. Okay, the only arrow you can control is the one you're shooting right now. So leave that one alone, go back out. Celebrate when you're done. Celebrate when you're getting that medal on your head. Celebrate when you're looking at Wounded Warrior Battalion West and going, what's up, bitches? <laughs> All right? But again, I thought you shot very well today. I saw improvement for those of you that were here yesterday. I saw some improvement and I saw really good things. And hopefully Miss Julia will let me come back out and I'll continue to help. But good job today and thanks. Hope you enjoyed it.